All right. Um, so finally, I'm going to do something about um, cashier, which is important. When you add a payment for a booking, it requests you the, um, the cashier. So here, add payment, you have the total value of the thing, of the booking, and a payment method. Um, cashier should add here crypto. <laughs> um, the cashier is not here because uh, you have a cashier. It's a preset as you start, and uh, you can add others. So here it is, uh, cashier. So um, here you can search for transactions, and you can add a new cashier. If you receive payment with cash and payment with credit card and payments with different, I would suggest you to add them, uh, a, a cashier for each of the, uh, the, the um, <clears throat> The, um, the payments you receive, uh, the methods of payment. I used to have uh, PayPal, I used to have uh, cash, I used to have card, I used to have... Um, for a while I was accepting uh, payments in US dollar and in Euro. So this was a little confusing and this is uh, so many places they... Um, they accept different currencies. And this is something I'm still working on as well, uh, how to, to figure out. It wasn't, it was like I accept very, very few payments in US dollars. So it was not something that was on top of my concerns. But um, I know some places that they really work with several currencies. And um, I would like to to hear from you guys. What do you what um, what is your uh, ideas of this? Uh, uh, doing several cashiers, it's uh, you would have to convert the price of the booking into um, into the the currency you, you you're going to accept. So. Um, I was thinking in, uh, at the registration, instead of having this uh, one currency, I have options for several currencies. So then um, I would take the, the, you know, this is just algorithm. I, I just go and uh, take an API from um, axie.com or um, I don't know, and, and do uh, or even Google uh, just to convert. So then, uh, you know, when you when you add a payment, you have uh, method and cashier, and then you have another one which is currency. So you select the currency, and you have your uh, the price based on one currency that you choose as, as yours, and then. Um, once you accept the payment, it just converts. It takes the 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 daily conversion rate, and uh, it changes. So, all right, adding new cashier is simple. You just give it a name, um, accept booking payments, yes or no. You can have a cashier just for your financial, um, whatever. Uh, there's something here that is called bills. You probably have noticed this around. This is um, this is for you to add your bills. Yeah. So uh, you have a, a whole financial management system integrated into this. So you accept the bookings and then you pay your staff, you pay your electricity, you pay your internet, you pay your rent, whatever. Um, so you can add bills. Uh, link to cashier. I'm gonna just finish in with um, with cashier, and I'm gonna jump into bills because they are kind of related. So um, I require a withdraw reason. This is um, when you have a cashier, you can uh, withdraw money from the cashier. 
Um, so, for example, let's say you have a cash box in your reception and you want to make sure how much money you have there. So then uh, let's say if, if, if you don't go to your hostel very often, um, let's say you go once every two, three days, you want to make sure the money is not piling up inside of your um, box. Um, once I, I was um, I was helping a, a hostel owner in Spain, and it was a very small hostel, like around 25 beds, and he had something around like 3,000 euros um, as float, and I was like very uncomfortable with it because you know then you have to be responsible for 3,000, and um. Yeah, I mean, you know, it goes from honor to honor. Um, but, um, you know, you have, uh, you, you can withdraw. That's what I'm saying. If you take the money from the cash, from the cash box, you go in the system and you tell the system you made a withdraw. So um, you can ask for a reason, which is just like it will give you. Um, uh, it will give you just a, you know, a note like something like this that you can just write whatever, and you say submit. But here, if you want to add a cashier, you just you know, let's say uh, this cashier will be for uh, cash, and this will be a credit card, credit card payments. So submit. So now I'm gonna open them because the, the cashier works on shifts, <clears throat> and you know if you click click on shift here, you're not gonna see anything. I'm gonna show you something that I, I used to have on my hostel, so you you see how it works a little better. So well, just for now, um, yeah. I'm, actually, I'm gonna go there now. I'm gonna pause here, and um. And I'm going to to go to show you some other property, and um, so I hope you understand a little bit how the shift works. All right, you know what? I have too many information that I prefer not to be sharing in the video, so I'm just gonna do it through here, so you will, you will understand. So. Um, first, I'm just gonna open the shift, and you know it, it hasn't been open yet. So um, what what I have here is um, the idea is you count how much money you have in the box, and you type here, and then um, uh, you close the shift. And when you close, like, so you open in the shift, right? So you open the shift, you count the, the money that you have in the box, you type here, and the system will, will match it with the previous. So um, right now there's zero because there's nothing. So I just put zero and, you know, you, you made a comment like, and, you know, the system will, compared to the previous, which was nothing. So zero is compared to nothing and no adjust was made. Uh, so that's it. Um, and I'm gonna open the other cashier as well. So you see now uh, there's, it says there's a cashier station, cashier. Um, so the amount in it is zero. And it says that it has been verified by user, which is this guy here, which is me, uh, agree with balance. If um, there's some mistakes, you would say uh, an adjust adjustment was made, but then it, it would ask if you, if you type a different number, it would say, are you sure before, um, before you, uh, for example, if I say five and submit, it, uh, this amount does not match with the expected amount because the expected amount is zero. 
So then it says, um, you know, try again. Uh, no, like, what is it? Is it seven? It's no, it's, you know, so then you can say, adjust the cashier for the ba uh, to the balance entered. So if I click here, it will adjust this cashier to seven. So the beginning of this cashier will be seven. And I say, uh, begins with seven. So I'm going to adjust this one. So I adjust, I, uh, an adjust, uh, sorry, I'm mis misspelling here. An adjustment, adjust of seven was made. Original balance uh, was made to the original balance. New balance is seven. So let me close here. So now you have these two cashiers open, right? So um, let's say I just, uh, you know, we already have seven euros or seven dollars on the ca on, on this credit card thing. So look, same thing. It says your balance is seven, and uh, withdraw zero received seven because you made this change and um, made a seven adjustment uh, from uh, from nothing. <laughs> it's not showing here. Uh, from uh, zero to um, zero is nothing sometimes in programming, you know. But not really nothing is the absence of something. Anyways. Um, and uh, the comment I made was begins with seven. So uh, if I want to withdraw seven, let's say, withdraw reason. Uh, withdraw reason can be uh anything maybe it's better just not to uh to have reason all the time but yeah uh x reason x amount seven and let's say we draw was uh thing the miss right so i had seven by mistake before it wasn't seven i counted wrong there was a coin in the back of the of the of the, of the box and i didn't see you know this thing happens a lot so you close here you open again and you see now the balance is zero and here is what happened fixing fixing the mistake withdraw seven all right so now um, I'm going to start adding some payments. Let's say people check in and they pay. So now you have these two options for cashiers here. So you have cash and, pay and credit card. <clears throat> so I'm going to add a credit card payment. Um, credit card and note, blah, blah, blah. And the amount here is the amount of the total amount always. But let's say they're not paying everything. They're missing like $2. They didn't have enough on, on their card. So I just add, give them a, a, a bad number, bad number one, and bad number two. So oh, this is a proper check-in, but they're still missing a payment. So this is the process for checking in. So there you go. You have band number one and band number two. Uh, the booking become red because they still have a balance to do. Um, I'm going to come back here and I'm, I'm going to add some products to them. They, they ask uh, for a towel, which towel? Uh, which guest, uh, let's say the first one, and it's a regular towel. Uh, the price is three euros per booking. So uh, number of days two, but it's, it's not going to calculate, it's not going to do any math here because it's per booking. So you want any notes, just uh, uh, let's say one right. Uh, towel 
then you add here and then now their balance is five so then they're going to add a payment with um, cash to the cashier and you add uh, paid for Tavo plus the missing two of the booking. So everything is being registered here, like everything that you add on and all the use, uh, the use. So for example, you know, sometimes one person adds the booking, another person goes and moves the booking to another room and then they call and they say can we cancel one night so somebody else goes and reduces the night and then somebody else receives the payment and then somebody else received the other payment and so on so all the users that um, touched let's say this booking is being recorded here and you have this detail thing, right that i showed before and um and here as well, I'm just going to take advantage because I forgot to, to do this before. Uh, this is this is how you send the email. Remember, we made a we made a, um, we made the email. Oh, so it, it turns everything to black again. So it, it's all paid. Uh, I'm not going to do the email now. I'm I'm going to do it a little later. If I forget, um, maybe uh, somebody can remind me but uh, I'll do the cash here now because otherwise I'll get into something uh, a lot bigger all right so let's uh, let's click here on cash here let's see uh, the cash here uh, cash I'm going to change this to uh, cash flow but anyways so now I have five let's say euros here right so uh, paying for a tower plus uh, two bookings of blah, blah, blah. Where, where, where is this booking? Which uh, who is this? Oh no, okay, the booking is here. So you can, um, if you have a list of a lot of payments that happen on the same day, you have a really busy day with a lot of check-ins. You're gonna have all that uh, listed there. So you can just go here and say, oh, okay, so this is what happened, and you know, you know what's happening. Um, and same thing in the credit card. Now you have um. Uh, three things here you know so all all the transaction that has happened um, this day so um, if you have a busy day I would say close your shifts uh, whenever you can because if you're having a lot of uh, a float into your cashier especially if it's cash uh, it's nice to whenever you have a free time, you count the money and you close the cashier and you reopen. Because then at least you know that, you know, at 5 p.m. I had this amount and it's confirmed. And then, you know, at 8 p.m. you have a, a mistake in the cashier. Or at, at 8 p.m. you noticed that you have a mistake in a cashier. And then you know, at least you don't have to look all the all the payments you have since like the morning. So I'm just gonna add uh, a few more payments at least for this day. Uh, I'm gonna add products. Let's say uh, they want to rent a bike. Uh, they want to rent a bike. And um, it's this guy. He wants to rent for all days. Bike one. So because he wants to rent for all days, I'm going to give him a discount. I'm going to give him for nine euros. So you're going to multiply um, by three. Nine by three, so it should be 27. Um, rented the bike for three nights um, three euro discount so here's 27 and then add payment and 
plus it. No, this is add, ch uh, add charge. If you have any reason to add him a charge, um, he's paying cash. Cash. Uh, mm, let's say I, I, I used to like to do things uh, separately. Like you can copy this and paste here plus bike uh, which is bike one plus bike one for days with the euros discount with three um for three days it's a little limited but yeah you got it so you add the payment so there's a 195 payment which is 1628 plus uh 27 or minus 1628 minus 27 um total uh payment um this was the the balance and you know it matches the balance so now the balance is zero balance is zero <clears throat> all the history um check in bad number four um so you see here there's a return button for the bike and i think there was a return for button for the for the towel as well So there you go. And now um, on the report, there's the, the the products calendar, right? So bike number one, oh, the beer, the, <laughs> this shouldn't be here. You don't need a calendar for the beer. All right, so you have uh, this person here renting bike number one for this three days. So um, whoever wants to rent a bike in the three days, you will not have it. There will be only the other bikes available. So let's see whoever's on the same days. Um, let's say these two guys here. They want to rent two bikes, and they would have um, um, bike two and three only. So rent bike number two. Is that uh, just two days? I'm gonna give like I can char I can say per booking, and I say you know 29 uh, when you're discount. Euro discount. There you go, 29. Add charge. Uh, I'm sorry. Add payment, uh, cash, cash, um, copy and paste to people tonight, plus buy two. Check in room number bed number six and bed number four because you know the room was empty when they arrived and they took the lower bunks and let's say you have the odd uh, uh, even numbers at the bottom so that's it and they have arrived their own bad numbers and so on and now here on cashier you have another payment so now you have 349 so let's say you you're not going to cash out but you want to you want to close this cuz you you start getting afraid cuz there's too much money so you go and you count and you see it doesn't give you the information here so um 
as an administrator, you have access to this. You have access to this. If you're not administrator, you do not have access to this number. So your receptionist will have to know for sure uh, how much should be there, and um, and you know hope it's uh, at the right number. So if you just want to close this, you say three forty nine, and maybe you ask them to say it's a uh, it's a uh, uh, three hundred plus forty plus uh, five plus two. Uh, plus two, plus one, plus uh, uh, one, <laughs> right? Equals 349. And submit, no adjust was made. Good, close. Now we go on cashier and you open it again. And you say 349. You don't need to make any comment because you just closed it and now you're reopening it. So now when you click on cashier, you will see shifts. And now you have two shifts. So this was the first transaction. So uh, you you close you open uh, open balance um, users cashier close shift. All right. So um, this was the first time you opened the cashier. It was open at forty nine. Uh, uh, it was open at zero and close at 49 and has zero adjustment. Then you open again at 439 and it's not closed yet. So let's add some more booking uh, payments here because the day still have one more checking to do. And you know, this, this girl doesn't want anything. She just want to pay and go to sleep. She arrived really tired. Cash, cashier. Uh, one person, three nights. And add. Um, okay, so I didn't check her in properly, right? So arrived and bad number three. Save. All right, there you go. So now you come here in cashier and you have this amount 404 and you want to close this 404 this is the end of the day you do some math here 400 plus four let's say you have four bills of four uh one hundred and two coins of two so now here on the cashier, you go to shifts and you say you open at uh, 430, uh, 349 and close at 404. So now when you open it again and you say 404, and submit, Then you have the shift, and you see um, this has to match with the one below. So 349, 349, uh, 404, 404. And here you have all the transactions that have happened there. So this is just agree with the 404 because you just opened it. But here you see you have all these uh, transactions. 
um, that happened through that. So you have the whole history of everything that happened, which is good. So whenever there's a mistake, for example, let's say there's a mistake of, I don't know, uh, one euro. There's one euro mistake. And you know this payment was uh, 195 and this payment was 5 So the 1 euro should not be here. The 1 euro mistake should not be here. But here there is a 149 And if, if you have a 1 euro mistake, there could be, uh, you know, maybe somebody count, uh, give wrong change, or, you know, you never know how these things happen. But... It's just nice to identify, you know, identify where the mistakes could have been. And, it, it you know, it, it just gives a peace of mind. When, when you just know somebody just gave the wrong change, it's very relieving. Because, you know, then it's not the case of somebody stealing from you. But anyways, um, so here um, you can see how much money you have there in the time. All the payments that have come through and so on. I'm glad I done this part about cash here. I knew it was going to be uh, not so easy to cover all this, but um, um, this is also a, a, another thing that all the payments uh, we've done up to now. So this is a uh, this not not only the payments but also the you know the the opening and closing with the cashier. So if you want to search, uh, search for um, product reason, uh, search for by cashier station, transaction, uh, balance, verify deposit, money lost. Um, You know, for for bikes, if you want to know all the bikes you rent on this cashier, you would have here nothing. Uh, let's say towels. Then um, uh, what do I, want? I think oh. Hmm. No reason. That, well, on, on the reports, it's a little easier. So have uh, sales by product, which is something else that um, I need to design, make make it look a little nicer. Uh, and you can search. And you see all the payments um, and everything that went for bike. Uh, you know the amount, uh, amount due and net everything that you receive uh, from the guests, uh, payments, towel, and every other. Uh, this is uh, your overall for February. So all the bookings that still uh, have to pay. <clears throat> um, so um, here, I'm just gonna finish this because uh, this is a quick. So search, you can search by nationality, I guess. Let's say Albania, yeah, there's some Albania. <laughs> um, so the bookings that were made on site of hostel is just one probably um, by balance by room by status whenever you have confirmed uh, timeout timeout sometimes is a is an indicator of somebody who tried to make a booking so um, I would recommend uh, create a, a email template just for the timeouts, because you know, it's people who try to uh, 
to to make a booking and by reasons you don't know um you know they didn't make a booking so once you had their time out you have all their information and uh you can send them an email and say hey uh we noticed we tried to make a booking blah 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 are you still interested and you know uh, you have to fish your guests so uh, this is the search by name so i guess if you say test <laughs> you will find somebody um by email by id you know um, this is the booking ids all right so Ba, 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 report check in check out history bad promotion promotion is very easy create promotional code you type the code you can be this is something that uh, you know you can do over the phone somebody calls and they say hey uh, I would like to make a booking or you know or if somebody sends you an email let's say Maria send you an email and she's like hey i'd like to make a booking and then before you reply that email you come here and you like you made a, a promotional code called maria and you know she she was asking from some days on this range here and you know you can limit it to one time or you can limit it to whatever it can be something you you throw on uh, Facebook or Instagram or Twitter that uh, you know it's something catchy like uh, Jan uh, let's say summer 2018 better without space um, then you put like to I don't know 25 limit and do you want to make a percentage or do you want to make a fixed amount so i think percentage is better you do 10 you submit and um, so it's uh, it's here and then uh, when somebody's trying to make a booking let's see if we can do one now Ooh. Need to do a F5 here. Hold on. Okay, I think this day we're booked out. Let's change this. Yeah, I see. Uh, let's say from uh, 20 to 23rd. Uh, let's select this. This is a, fem a female only. <clears throat> so test, test country. Uh -oh. All right, so next. So here you put your summer, summer 2018, and apply. Uh, promo code is valid for booking between 11th uh, and 14th. All right. Yeah. It was for Maria, but now it's for everybody. So let's put here until the 8th. Okay, so there you go. Promotional code is giving you six euros and eight cents discount. So um, once you once you do all this, it will show up uh, inside the booking with a promotional code, and this and here will be one one time used 
and then you can click on this one and uh, and you see who was the bookings that used that. But I'm not going to do it because I have to go through all the booking process and I have to pay the total amount and I'm not going to pay to make a booking test. But um, one other time I will make some tests and you will see everything, how the email comes to you and to the to the guest and so on. All right. So this was promotional code. And I think I've covered uh, everything. Oh, the bills. Hmm. So X is a bill that we um, created when you made a withdraw. But you can just um, add bills, other just supermarket, for example. Cashier station is gonna come from cashier. Uh, it asks a fixed amount. You can just put zero. Uh, date doesn't matter. Note doesn't matter. <clears throat> so now every time you go on cashier to take some money out, reason supermarket amount then. Uh, uh, buying a bread for wreck submit. So now you have this withdraw here, and uh, you come here on bills, and you have supermarket. Um, Oh, so this is the bill. Okay. Mm. User. Um, I think I need to do a little uh, sharpening on this, <laughs> but uh, this should be cashier. Uh, Search uh, reason to be transaction type. Yeah, I need to do a little sharpie on this uh, bills, but it should be it should be here. Sorry for that. But well. Um, I hope this is uh, has been entertaining. I will add some smaller videos uh, later on. So if you have any questions, let me know and I'll be happy to assist. All right. All the best.